New this morning, a lot of gun store owners are calling President Obama the best gun salesman in the country because every time he pushes for stricter gun laws or gun measures, they say gun sales go through the roof. Let's bring in Mark Limoges right now. He's a gun store owner in New Hampshire and a Donald Trump supporter. In fact, he gave Mr. Trump a custom rifle last night. Mr. Limoges, thank you for joining us. My first question was, why did you give a gun to Donald Trump? But what do you got there? We have a custom AR-15 rifle uh, built right at our shop in Claremont, New Hampshire, um, put together by our, uh, uh, one of our co-owners, John. And that's a replica right there of the, uh, of the gun that you gave This Donald is an Trump. exact replica of the, of the gun we gave Mr. Trump, yep. Has our black op arm symbol on it with a black op arm symbol on the handrail. And on the other side, we have the live free or die with the American flag on the handrail. So, Mr. Limoges, why did you want to give a rifle to Donald Trump? Well, we just started off, we've been big Trump supporters since the day he announced his candidacy and uh, wanted to do something to commemorate uh, Mr. Trump's visit to Claremont. We don't get a lot of uh, uh, celebrities, I should say, to Claremont, and we wanted to give him something to make his trip memorable. And you support him for president, yes? Yes, yes, we do. Now, let's talk about... Uh, the announcement President Obama made that he is going to take executive action. He's going to sort of expand the definition of what a gun seller is, which might uh, lead to an increase in the number of background checks made, particularly at gun shows and the like. What do you think of that? Well, we're, we're all for safe gun sales transactions. Um, we feel that it's not the people that are coming and doing everything legally that are out doing the crimes, it's the people illegally. Um, so you're still going to be able to get weapons uh, one way or another. Uh, why punish the people that do it legally? So, so, but you have no problem, though, then, with the executive actions he's taking? Do you think those punish people trying to get guns legally? Well, the, the th thought of it being uh, trying to disarm the American uh, citizen is kind of ridiculous in our eyes. Um, the system we have now with people coming in, uh, doing the background checks and everything seems to work fine. Um, could it be tweaked or whatever? I'm sure it could be. Um, but the process that's there now seems to work fine. Mr. Blanchard, you, you say disarming the American citizen. I mean, Donald Trump had said, it was to CNN, he said that he thinks that Obama pretty, with Obama, because of Obama, you're pretty soon you're not going to be able to get guns. Do you think the president is trying to, wants to take away your guns? I think it's probably a first step towards it, yes. Really? Even though the I mean, president really? said yesterday in his speech, he said that his actions are not a plot to take away everybody's guns. Right, but Mr. Obama has also said other things that, you know, have not always been the truth. Look, but he says, you know, he respects the Second Amendment. And if you just look at the actions taken, even the things he was proposing a few years ago, which were steeper than this, you know, even if you support universal background checks, that doesn't necessarily mean you want to take someone's guns away. So again, you really think that the president wants to take your guns away? No, probably not totally, but I think he wants to definitely control it more. Let's get back to your gift and what you've got in your hands there. What did Donald Trump say when you yeah. gave him the gun? He was actually very impressed. He was very inquisitive of uh, the rifle and uh, where it was made, where the parts were made, which we, uh, it's all made locally. Um, and I'll put together uh, locally in Claremont. Did he say what he was going to do with it? Because I think I'm correct when I say he can't have it in New York. He can have it in New York. Uh, actually, the Secret Service is bringing it back to us, and we're going to uh, modify it so it will be legal in New York. Huh. Ah, that's okay. interesting in and of itself. Wait, what did the Secret Service say? Were they at all nervous when, uh, when you wanted to give them a gun? <laughs> yeah, a little bit at first. Uh, we w actually wanted Mr. Trump to come to our gun store, which the Secret Service was not real thrilled about. Um, so what they did is they actually, one uh, Secret Service agent came to the store, took the gun, we removed the uh, bolt out of it. Uh, mm. They took possession of the weapon and then presented it uh, to us before we went in the, uh, the room to present it to Mr. Trump. Last question here. Uh, you know, I've heard a lot of gun store owners say that that when the president proposes or pushes for gun control measures or introduces new measures, that gun sales actually go up. That is correct. You've Every seen time that Mr. Obama mentions any, 
Yes, we do. By how much? What are the What do the people say? Uh, most of the people come in are real nervous about what Mr. Obama is going to do uh, to limit their um, chances of getting weapons. Mark Lamoge, great to meet you. Thank you for coming on. Thanks for bringing the visual aid. Arms must be Thank tired. you. Thank, Thank you, you so much, me. Mark. Appreciate, we appreciate it. Appreciate it. Important programming note. Tomorrow, President Obama joins CNN's Anderson Cooper for a live town hall on gun violence in America, 8 p.m. Eastern, right here.